going on everybody hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day in this video we're going to open this box up and fill the rig There they are, six Radeon 5600 XTs. I like how it comes with this little uh, plastic guard to cover the PCIe connection. It's neat. It's got a nice back plate too. It's like a carbon fiber feel almost. All right, let's get these on a rig. All right, so these frames I picked up off, I think it was Facebook Marketplace, either that or Craigslist, I can't remember. It was a couple months back. Got them all for about $15 each. Um, there was 13 of them total, so. They came with all of these uh, Molex risers, and I'm gonna change it to the uh, six pin. All right, so here it is. Pretty much everything you need to uh, make your first rig. So we have to start the H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard, it accepts 13 GPUs. We're only doing six on this build. You are going to need a power supply. I use the EVGA P2 1200 Platinum power supply just because it's most efficient. Obviously, you need necessary, you know, motherboard cable, VGA to power the risers and the uh, cards. Then you have the CPU to power the CPU on the motherboard. And then you have your Molex, which is going to power the PCIe slots on this motherboard that you will see in a second. We have a Coffee Lake G3930 Intel processor. I actually purchased this used on eBay because they're scarce. I have a TAC Force DDR4, eight gigabytes of RAM. I have a Kingston M2 SSD going to go directly on the motherboard so you don't have to wire anything it has a spot for it we have a usb with windows 10 already loaded on it we have some extra thermal paste just because you need it for the old uh, processor we purchased we have a wireless usb adapter if you don't have an ethernet cable you're going to need that to connect to the internet and then we have pcie risers one per gpu and then, in my opinion, these fans, this keyboard, mouse combination, and the LCD screen is all extra stuff that you really don't need. Um, I mean, the fans are always good for airflow to keep your cards cool, but again, it's an open rig frame, so it's not going to be getting that much heat, in my opinion, with all the other fans and such we have already going. This wireless touchpad mini keyboard and mouse combo is probably one of the best things I've purchased alongside this seven inch LCD display. Uh, I purchased off Amazon. This is actually a frame for this screen, which you'll see you know, in a little bit because it literally makes this rig absolutely independent of a mouse or a keyboard. Um, and then the only other thing I didn't mention that you're gonna need is splitters. Get something that's decent quality. Don't get something that's just complete crap. Um, but these basically are eight pin to eight pin. You can break it down to six, just like the normal you know, ones that come with your power supplies. I'm gonna jump from PCIe riser to graphics card off of one VGA eight pin. All right, frame's clean. Got all the old PCIe risers out. Um, going to put on the motherboard and stuff first. So I'm gonna take the top of this off so you all can see how to build a rig from scratch.
All right, so this is the motherboard. It's got 13 PCIe slots. You can put a GPU directly on the motherboard if you'd like. Here's the M.2 um, spot for the SSD that we're gonna use to you know, put Windows onto it. That's where your CPU goes and there's all your connections. This frame's already set up for the install of this type of board. Clearly, this is what the guy used to use. So, screws are in the correct placement. Works out, man. There she is. Installed on the frame, nice and secure. First, I like to install the processor all right so there's the processor you want to try to avoid touching the back if you can this corner that's right there little shiny triangle you want to insert to the bottom right if you're looking at it from this angle you just drop it in put this down push and that should pop off Next, you grab your thermal paste, put a dot right in the middle, doesn't need to be huge. Little dab, grab your fan, plop it on. You want to give it a little tug just to make sure it's firmly secure. Then this gets plugged in. There. Next, you want to install your DDR4 RAM into the first slot on the motherboard. Line up the groove with the groove. Push and click. Install the M.2. This is the setup. You want to have your Windows flash drive plugged in. You want to have your wireless Wi-Fi card plugged in. The little sensor here for the keyboard and mouse. You need to have that plugged in. Power, USB to the screen. And power to charge the controller because there's a battery in here. And then you just want to start it up. Make sure everything works. Power switch. Hit the power button. Alright, we have everything up and running. Seems to be working properly. 
no issues windows is booting up I'm going to be making a part two to this video where I will be going through the setup of windows and installing the drivers and everything necessary to run these six cards on better hash so stay tuned